Would you say that you're a team player or an individual sportsman? I enjoy working with teams. In fact, I really enjoy using uh, design thing te uh, techniques uh, for uh, sparking creativity in teams. I believe that uh, working in teams uh, can improve uh, results if you manage to have all the team engaged with the project and the results of the... Uh, uh, let, let me think. <laughs> Maybe I, uh, I think that this, week, this weekend I should uh, work on uh, this sort of uh, questions and uh, write down replies. Uh, answers? Yeah, some bullet points. Okay. Hmm. What does you, what does your team think of you? I would like to think that my team see me as uh, uh, someone uh, they enjoy working with and uh, someone uh. who who takes their opinion into account and that they grow professionally with me as as I do with them. Have you ever had to sack anybody? Yes. That was when I worked at Altran. Uh, Altran was a top, uh, is a top uh, te uh, consultant, uh, consultancy firm. And we uh, had to sack uh, three persons who were using uh, our information to um, do projects outside the company. Tell me about this. Well, well the, your, the way that you had to deal with them rather than what they were doing. Well, we, we discovered that some of our competitors were having uh, information beforehand. Uh, we uh, uh. were having information beforehand. So pause, <laughs> think. We discovered that some of our competitors were having information beforehand when we were preparing a public tender. Uh, proposal for a pro public tender. Then, uh, so we researched uh, amongst the people who had access to this information and we discovered that uh, there were three persons who were giving this information to other companies um, and I don't know if they were selling it or they, was, they were just expecting to be hired or whatever, but we had to take the decision of firing them. Heard or hired? Hired. What do you think your strengths are? Well, I have a strong strategic vision and I can easily understand uh, what the business challenges are. Because of my extended uh, experience in different uh, positions uh, in a business, in different uh, businesses, uh. <laughs> and in different sectors, um, Pause. and in different sectors, I can understand uh, easily uh, what the what uh, which challenges are facing uh, my my peers or uh, the no, different which, which my peers peers are facing, right, okay. not which are facing my peers. Which That's the normal way of it. Which, so uh, I would say... Which my peers are facing. Which, which challenge, the challenges which my peers are facing. But that's another way, yes. Or? Which my peers are facing. Okay, no? which my peers are facing, okay. What do you think your weaknesses are? My fluency in English. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that in an interview. Okay. Well, you mm. could, you could, but you'd have to try and show that you that that was a joke and you you weren't that bad. I mean, you can make jokes about things like that, but we will know whether your fluency as English is uh, is good or not because we yeah. can hear you. But yes, I like the fact that you made a joke hmm. and that you laughed. I like that. That's good. That's what you do on the phone in Spanish, but. We've been 40 minutes, and that's the first one you've done. 
<laughs> okay. So I think you need to do a bit more in English of what you're doing in Spanish. Because otherwise it ch it's like it's changed your personality from mm. being funny to being boring. Okay. You see what I mean? Yes, yes. How much do you laugh on the phone in, in, in Spanish? Loads. All the time. And all the time, yeah. And in English, the first one in 40 minutes. Mm. So maybe you need to think about mm. how you can bring in your real personality here. Okay. No? So well, let's ma I'm just making a note. It says new vocabulary, but you've got all the vocabulary you need. So I'm going to put in, bring in personality. No, I'm mm. going to bring in personality. Oh. Okay. Tell me about the most difficult situation you've had to deal with in your career. Well. Yeah. And you can pause before that because mm. that's a difficult question. When I was holding the position of uh, chief, uh, chief business development officer at Altran, we were preparing a very relevant, very important uh, public tender uh, uh, proposition for a public tender. And uh, the, uh, uh, okay, let, let me pause uh, and think about it. So what's the most difficult mm. situation you've had to deal with in your professional career? Well, I think that would be when I was working as chief business uh, development officer at Altran, we were preparing a uh, public tender and um, a few days before we, we were going to present our uh, proposal, um, one of our develop development teams that uh, were helping with the proposal told us that they, they were quitting the company. That was a Friday, a one Friday afternoon. So, well, that uh, might have had a big impact on, or on, our, on our company because uh, they were a whole team, a whole development team. We, they were implied, uh, they were working in some projects already and they were the team we were uh, including in this proposal. Uh, so, mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, we had to take a quick, mm. quick, we had to take very quick decisions uh, to reduce the, the impact of, of this thing that was happening. First, we tried to know uh, what was happening, why, why they were leaving all of them at the same time. So we started uh, making phone calls and talking to the people at the company who, have had, who were closer to them, uh, just for asking uh, or if they could... Uh, well, uh, Asking them if they if they could find out uh, where 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 they were going to or what was happening. D uh, when if this happened uh, on the Friday afternoon, uh, by Friday night we already knew that they had been offered um, to uh, go to an, uh, 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 one of the companies, uh, one of our competitors doubling their the salaries so uh, we doubling 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 mm -hmm. doubling the, the salaries that's so a lot of money yeah we couldn't uh, compete uh, against that so uh, what we uh. we couldn't compete uh, against that so what we tried was first see if we could uh, uh. see if we could convince any of the members of this team who were leaving to, to stay at the company. Second, mm, assess what, uh, what risks uh, mm, would arise from uh, losing them uh, for the projects they, they were already working on. And third, 
find a replacement, find uh, quickly a replacement for the public tender we were... We find were, a replacement quickly. Find a replacement quickly for the team we were including in the proposal uh, we had to um, present on, on Monday. So uh, that was a very busy weekend. Uh, we managed to convince uh, three of the six uh, team members who were leaving to, to stay. The other three mm, uh, went, went away. And left. Left, OK. The other three left. We, we couldn't do anything to retain them. Then uh, the projects they were already involved in, we found uh, how to uh, first, uh, we, uh. first we, sp we spoke to, to, the, to our customers. Uh, who uh. First, we uh, spoke to, uh, to, uh, to the customers, to our customers, to inform them of the situation and how would this uh, situation would impact uh, with uh, uh. would impact their, their, their projects, their running projects. And um, okay, you're still mm. saying um. Okay. Another thing mm. that you can do mm. is pause on a word. Apart from pausing on a silence. Mm. You can pause on a word. Hmm. So while you're thinking about the next thing, you're still on one word. Did you hmm. hear how I did that? Because hmm. what you're doing is you're not making a silence and you're not on the word. You sort of hmm. put in an er uh between the, the word and the silence. Okay. And you're doing it all the time still. Hmm. It's difficult to change something that you've perhaps been doing for 25 years or more <laughs> or more in 47 minutes hmm. but I'll send these things to you hmm. I'm quite quite slow here I'm making quite a few pauses so I'm hmm. thinking about what I'm saying <coughs> no anyway becoming aware of this thing I do I think it's positive because I, I can work on that at home. You can work on that at home. Everything that I can do, that I can point out to you. So we've got mm. the air. Uh, we've got the sounding nervous in French. And I also say the breathing. Hmm. The chunks, no, the chunks, mm. the, the groups of words, okay. the liaison, mm. bringing in personality, laughs, no? Preparing bullet points. Hmm. If you've got your answers better prepared. Do you know Jean Renaud, the French actor? Yes, yes. Yeah. He says you shouldn't know a script too well because if you do, it sounds just like reading a script. Hmm. So he wants to fumble a bit. Hmm. So I agree. We don't want to just learn a script and repeat a script. Hmm. So don't write paragraphs, but write bullet points. That way, you've got your ideas organized, hmm. but it comes out hmm. slightly differently each time, and it sounds fresh. Hmm. Otherwise, they'll hear that you're just repeating answers. They take you off those, and then you start to fumble. <laughs> no? Because they're not stupid. Hmm. We're going to have a little pause. Hmm. But yeah, all these things... I'm going to send you this document afterwards. Great. And then you can think about these things, you can listen to it, and you can start to work on them. Okay. Especially the bullet points. Three mm. persons, that's not very English. Three? People. Yeah, that's more English. You may hear Americans saying persons, but in, in mm. the UK it's normal to say people, and I like people. You can get away with mm. that. Okay. okay. Few pronunciation things. You're saying S instead of Z. Design. Design. Z, z. z design 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 like liaison it's not liaison son it's z, z, z like in french uh, mm. design 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 so got a it's a so you have a pair you have s and you have z mm. s it has no vibration mm. and the other one is z z, z. z. design design the zine. We have to look at this. Okay. Confident. There mm. is no e eh here. It's called a schwa. It's an uh, like in Beckham. Beckham? Mm. Say Beckham. Beckham? It's not Beckham. Mm. 
is Beckham. Confident. Confident. Et E, like je, as in French. Je m'appelle je. So, confident. Confident. That's it. Position. Position. Lip. L lip. Leap. 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 We need to look at this. Regional. J. Regional. 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 Digital. Digital. Tims. Tims. Teams. Teams. So I can't Teams. tell the difference between these two words. The same as between lip and leap. You've got a problem with the I and the E. Okay. With. It's not with. As in theta, mm. it's th, it has a vibration. With. 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 So you need to think about your vibrations. Mm. As. Culo. <laughs> as. As. That's it, with as. a Z. Researched. Researched. Hired. 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 With huh? a D. Hired. Hired. Heard. Heard. Not hurt. <laughs> Heard. It's not hurt. Hmm. It's heard. Heard. Okay, you've got a problem with the D and the T at the ends of the words. Hmm. You, t you, you sound the same with T and D. Hmm. Hurt and heard. 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 Strategic. Strategic. There's no E before strategic. 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 It's not España, hmm. it's Spain. S strategic. Living. Living. Leaving. Living. E. Leaving. Living. Busy. 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 We have a problem. So, hmm. with the Z, hmm. we have the schwa. Schwa. We have the E and the E. Hmm. We have the J. Oh. Hmm. What else have we got? We have the T and the D at the ends of words. These are basically common Spanish mistakes. Hmm. Those are the three. T and D, S and Z, E and E. What do you mean with schwa? Schwa. Schwa is a letter that you don't, well, a sound, a phonetic hmm. letter, if you like, that hmm. you don't have in Spanish. I will show you what it is, okay. because if you speak, if you speak French, you have hmm. it. It's an hmm. uh, like je, 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 je. and you don't say Becca, Beckham, mm. ah, you say Beckham, mm. you don't say okay. England, you say England, England. and you don't say confident. Confident. No, happy dent, no, or dental, you say a, uh, like Confid oh. Oh, confident. Sorry. Okay, we will look, I will identify these words. Okay. okay, I have some things that I will send you. I have a guide to the phonetic symbols in British. Okay, and I will take you through those sounds, and then we can practice hmm. some exercises with these sounds. Hmm. So we can have a look at E and E, and then we can record you practicing this. Hmm. You can, I will send you this after the class, and you can take it home and you can practice. Because hmm. otherwise, I don't hear the difference between one and another. Hmm. Well, that means that I could possibly not understand what you say, but more importantly, I may think, well, this guy from Spain, he's nice. But we don't understand too much what he says, <laughs> so we're going to get the guy from England. Hmm. No, hmm. we because you have to compete on an uneven playing field. Yeah, because you are against English people. Hmm. No, so you don't have to just be the best in IT. You have to make me think that I have got no problem with you being one of these awful European people. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get in before the Brexit, because otherwise, <laughs> no, <laughs> whatever. Anyway. <laughs>